guys feel after that? So good. You know, just trained my, trained my butt off the past 10 months, but especially the past two months, and it's ready to go. Down to 96 kilos, Tommy, uh, from, from heavyweight previously when you competed. Uh, the cut seemed to like get to you like you're in Cuba, places like that when you were competing earlier. Maybe uh, the first cut in the fall yeah. didn't compete where you are, how you look today. Do you ever weight under control and it wasn't Absolutely. a factor? I have it under control. It was a factor. But, you know, when you step on the mat, you expect to win. I lost fair and square to people all throughout the year. But right now, I don't, I don't notice that I'm cutting weight right now. Tommy, so that's is this good. weight allowing you to do more offensive moves that you were not able to do at heavyweight? Yes. Could you explain a little bit more, especially that match right there with Pendleton? I just, I lost uh, in 2008 in the best two out of three. And, uh, I just don't want to go to the clinch again. I'm, I want to win the right way. How are you dominating everybody today? Brester, Pendleton, everybody just, that's they put in front of you, they absolutely just dominated. Just determined. Pretty simple. What did you do to make the decision to go down to 96? I made it about a month before the 11, 2011 World Trials, but it was too difficult to, to do all that. For 2011, so I stayed at heavyweight, and then the day after the trials, I started dieting. JD, your, your training partner, JD Bergman, um, you guys both at 96 kilos. Did that have any effect on it? Was that a good, good, good or a bad situation? I think it was uh, the positives far away the negatives. Certainly, he's one of my great friends, and it's an awkward situation. But at the same time, we're training each other to be the best in the world, and, and I think that's a good thing. When you looked at the amount of Ohio guys in your weight class, you guys, it was the top yeah. three seats, three of the top four seats were Ohio guys. Were you looking forward to, to meeting any of those guys? I wasn't looking forward to meeting them, but I thought it was cool that Ohio uh, is so well represented. I love Ohio. Um, Kilgore is incredible, and uh, I didn't have to face him today, but he's an animal. And obviously, JD is very good too. Your opponent tonight, how do you go into tonight's match? Two out of three. Win. You know, I don't want to be a two time Olympic alternate. There's only one reason I came back and it's staring me in the face again. What was as big as you ever got, Tommy? 272, but it was pretty fat. Um, when I'm in real, the best, the heaviest I've ever been when I'm in real good shape is like 53, 54. What's the scouting report tonight for versus Jake Barner? Um, it's open the matchup. You know, I want to open the matchup. He's got a couple things that he does real well. He's very, very solid defensively. I got to stay patient and open the matchup. How do you? How do you open the matchup? A lot of things. I mean, we get the game plan together with Will. I had to focus on today. I mean, it's the downside of being in the mini tournament. I, 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 I didn't have the ability to worry about Varner until now. So now I'm going to worry about him. Can you talk a little bit about this, this journey, the, the weight class switches, the, the, um, the trying to get big, trying to get small, retirement? It's just it's the sport, you know, I mean, the sport is unbelievable. And uh, it's hard to leave, especially when you're in your prime physically, so to speak, and you got dreams and goals that you've had since you were a kid, and I just couldn't, I couldn't walk away without giving another chance. How long were you away? How long About 22 months, yeah, give or take. What, what uh, was there a moment that brought you back? Was there anything, one thing in you particular? You know, I, I had or? kids at that point, and, you know, I, I, I could, couldn't see them giving, couldn't see myself giving them the, the advice I was giving myself, which is to move on. And, and go in and develop yourself professionally and support your family. If you got dreams, you know, you got to exhaust the opportunity. And so it kind of came to the front when I was thinking about that. I wouldn't tell my own kids to, to move on, so why am I moving on? You got four kids now. How many kids did you have in 2008? One. One. Yeah. How much difference is one training with one kid and now having four? It's not much difference because my wife's incredible. But uh, it, it's, it's still got some moments. But. Um, you know, I just I'm wrestling for them. They've made sacrifices. My wife has made a lot of sacrifices. So many people around me have made sacrifices, and I just want to make them proud and make myself proud.